Hi, this is Mary Kirby and I'm at the Panasonic booth. I'm here because the IoT of aviation has arrived at 30,000 feet. And there's two parts to it. It means something for the passenger and for airline operations. And I'm going to talk to Matthias Walter at Panasonic to find out more. Come on. Hi, Matthias. Tell me a little bit about the IoT of aviation and Panasonic's role. Yeah, um, the Internet of Things it has two components. Uh, we call it connected aircraft. Uh, one side is the passenger experience, and yep. the other side is the operational element, and that consists of flight operations, ground operations, and maintenance. Well, we're sitting here in uh, the cabin environment, and, and it's uh, beautiful. Yeah, and the main thing here is really the entertainment. So, a big thing for us, a trend that we see in the future, or actually happening right now, is personalization. So when you come on board, you want to bring your own device. And yes. so what we do on board the aircraft now, um, Singapore Airlines is one of the airlines flying it already. Then you take a, your uh, personal device with the airline application, you sign into the system, and it pulls up all your information, your mileage information. You may have a queue of movies that you have queued up before, and then you just take your device, and it becomes a remote control on the aircraft. A remote control in your hand. Yes. What they also can do is you can control the lighting in the cabin from here. So it's not only just that you play uh, movies, it's basically the whole immersive experience in this uh, beautiful first class cabin. And it is stunning. Now, of course, every passenger wants to be connected. Broadband connectivity, that's part of the proposition, right? Yeah, so there's our broadband antenna that's installed on top of an aircraft uh, to connect the aircraft and provide uh, connectivity. So there's three parts to it. One is um, obviously internet. The second part is live television. The third one is phone. So we enable that to our broadband connectivity. So double and triple screening for the passengers in flight. Yes. Okay. And in a really personalized, contextualized way. Okay, so connectivity also from a nose to tail standpoint on aircraft will improve operations for airlines. Give us a little bit of an idea of what you guys are doing with sensors on aircraft and the data that you're able to uh, send to the ground. The key elements of uh, the operational side are the flight operations where we work a lot with the cockpit um, through, uh, through weather information to improve the flight routes that uh, the pilots can take. A lot of the fuel that the airlines are burning um, is uh, when they depart or then land. And by us providing them wind information and weather information, pilots can actually um, choose an ideal flight route and reduce the fuel burn. It makes the airline greener and that it's a smoother ride for the airlines. That's one element. Another um, example is proactive maintenance. That's how we refer to it. So when there's an issue on the aircraft, we monitor the aircraft live to a data center in California. And uh, if there's anything going on, we notify the engineers. So when the aircraft lands, the engineer can actually stand at the gate, walk onto the aircraft, fix the part, walk off, and there's no impact on the passenger experience. And for the airline, obviously, there's a huge operational benefit in that. So really, it all comes full circle. When you improve the operations for the airline, it ultimately benefits the passenger. That's how it should be. Yeah. Sounds good.